Hey everyone, Bill Heisinga down here in St. Joe, Benton Harbor for the Blossom Time Festival. Uh, it is uh, mercifully stopped raining. That's uh, that's great. It's always tough doing parades uh, in the rain. Not for me so much as all of these bands <laughs> that are behind us and, uh, and those that are... Uh, various pageant uh, winners and those kinds of things so uh, everyone's happy if we can make sure that there is no uh, no rain coming down but um, good to be back here in Benton Harbor I was actually here last week Monday at the uh, Rotary Luncheon uh, where they honored the sheriff uh, Paul Bailey uh, for uh, for his uh, his work he's going to be retiring um, here in uh, not too distant future and uh, yeah lots of uh, lots of good things happening here had a chance to talk to uh, the mayor of Benton Harbor a little while ago uh, Marcus Muhammad and uh, uh, we have some we have a great relationship good uh, good dialogue um, and uh, have uh, continued to build that, uh, that dialogue and that relationship uh, to, uh, you know, to, to be effective in representing them so um, yeah lots happening in Washington uh, we had a big week uh, where uh, we finished with a uh, welfare reform bill that would allow states to recapture up to 25% of all of the fraudulent, not legitimate, but the fraudulent uh, checks that went out in COVID uh, under unemployment and things like that. And there was, we know that there was billions and billions of dollars that were, uh, were literally stolen. Uh, from people that needed that help, and uh, that's not acceptable. So we uh, we came up with a, devised a, a plan that would incentivize states to go after this. I hope Michigan does do that. Uh, well, first of all, it's got to get through the Senate, and I hope that uh, I hope that uh, President Biden sees his way clear to, uh, to to sign that as well. It makes sense. Um, and then, of course, we had the uh, the end of Title 42 uh, that happened a little earlier this week. Uh, that uh, that is causing even bigger problems down on the border. Uh, we had a uh, we had a bill to address that. Uh, it was uh, it was passed um, and uh, hopefully sets the pace for what needs to happen here on our southern border and with a number of things. And you know earlier uh, earlier this week and and then uh, last week as well. I met with a couple of different groups of farmers, Ottawa County, down here in Berrien County, uh, some folks from Van Buren as well, and there's uh, there's real issues uh, happening with farm labor. These are legal temporary workers, and we have to separate that out from what's happening down at the border. Uh, these are known workers that in oftentimes many years have been repeat and return workers for, uh, for farmers. Um, a proposal from the uh, Department of Homeland Security as the Secretary Mayorkas literally would put what his words, not my words, his words would be a $600 asylum fee on each one of those applications that is, uh, that is being uh, put forward. Um, I led a bipartisan letter. It was every member of Congress uh, from Michigan, save one, a freshman from, uh, from Detroit. I don't know why he didn't sign on. Uh, but uh, every other member of com Congress, Republican and Democrat, signed on to this, asking Secretary Mayorkas to reconsider, uh, because this is going to be devastating to our uh, to our farmers as they are trying to. Uh, well, we're getting late for it now, but uh, get crops in the field to certainly harvest them, and and um, and they are very dependent on uh, that temporary worker. So. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that uh, and obviously very closely watching what's happening on the southern border. Uh, but uh, I hope you are having a great Saturday and whether you're down here at, uh, you can see behind me here, the cars lining up, they're just about ready to step off. Uh, I'm going to go introduce myself to Miss Southwest over here in a second. <laughs> you want to wave? <laughs> Live Facebook Live here. And, uh, and we, got, we got a great parade happening here. There's another great parade happening up in uh, Holland. Uh, Tulip Time Parade. Uh, this will be the first time in 20 years that I have not participated in the Saturday Tulip Time Parade. Uh, but uh, we felt it was very important to get down here, Benton Harbor, a uh, new part of the uh, 4th Congressional District, and uh, introduce ourselves and get to know the great folks here uh, as well. So I uh, hope uh, whether you're at Tulip Time Parade, whether you're at Blossom uh, Time Parade, uh, whether you're mowing your lawn, planting flowers, uh, relaxing today, whatever it might be, 
Uh, I hope you have a great day. Let's hope this rain holds off, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.